Why was the bathtub scene so important for the Witcher fandom? Was it actually in the books or just the video games? How did Henry Cavill prepare for shooting the scene? And why was it dangerous? Hi, I'm Tim, and you're watching Awesome Movies. And now I'll answer all the questions about this iconic scene from The Witcher. Why the bath scene was so important When fans of The Witcher video games first heard about its adaptation as a TV series, they started to wonder whether one particular scene would be included in the Netflix show. When The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt was released, its opening scene appeared to be quite unusual. It was a flashback The Witcher had, dreaming about the times that he spent with Yennefer and their adopted daughter Ciri. He remembers how he was relaxing in his chamber in Kaer Morhen, lying down in the steamy water, with his feet resting on the edge of the wooden bath. Yennefer was reading a book nearby. The scene was somewhat erotic, although the majority of the gamers would prefer to see more of a female body than a male one, but also funny because the sorceress plays a magical trick on Geralt. Anyway, the scene was pretty memorable and soon became a meme. It has even been recreated in merchandise. And although the Witcher series takes its source material from Andrzej Sapkowski's novels and not the games, any scene featuring Geralt in a bath is an homage to the video game and its fans. In fact, there are two bath scenes in the Witcher series. Netflix's Interpretation Yes, this particular scene was adapted into the Netflix show more than just once. The first one is shown in Episode 4 of Banquets, Bastards and Burials, and it can be perceived as a mockery because we see Geralt of Rivia taking a bath and Yaskier next to him, luckily not in the same bath, and the very next episode, Bottled Appetites, finally shows us the iconic scene, brought to life as close to The Witcher 3 as possible. But we'll come back to this later. So in the series, Geralt first meets Yennefer and she invites him into the bath chamber to discuss saving his friend's life. The Witcher and the Sorceress sit back to back in the tub and talk about their pasts, which reveal they have a lot in common. It's different from the scene in the video games, so maybe it has more to do with Sapkowski's novels? Was the bath scene present in the books? It actually was, though it was a bit different from both the games and the series. In the short story called The Last Wish, the Witcher also asks Yennefer to help his friend Yaskier, and she insists on him taking a bath first, but she doesn't join Geralt in the tub. She makes herself invisible and takes a bath separately. But the Witcher is smart enough to catch a glimpse of her curves, thanks to the water splashes and soap suds. So you see, the showrunner Lauren Schmidt Hisrick found a way to reference the games while staying true to Sapkowski's novels. Moreover, it was inevitable that many details, like characters' behaviors, looks, fighting styles and overall aesthetics of the TV series, would take a lot from the video games too. Like the showrunner admitted, it is fun to visually throw a wink and a nod at video game fans, to say, we see you too. We know you're here, and we want you to be happy with what we're doing as well." And Henry Cavill, as a huge fan of the games, added that he would be happy to present a lore-accurate Geralt. That's why he tried to bring the scene from the video game to life as closely as possible. But as I've mentioned before, it wasn't an exact recreation. Behind the Scenes Secrets In an interview with BBC One, Henry Cavill recalled that while filming the bath scene, he was thinking to himself, I wonder if anyone knows how much this is going to explode, this particular scene. And it certainly did. But one detail was obviously missing. Geralt's feet resting on the tub. The actor revealed that he tried to put them up, but unfortunately the bathtub was simply not designed for it. Cavill had to admit that it was the wrong shape, so his feet had to stay underwater. Well, personally, I hope that this miscalculation will be fixed in Season 2. But did you know that shooting this and other shirtless scenes can in fact be really dangerous for Henry Cavill? Here's why. On The Graham Norton Show, Henry Cavill revealed the details behind his intense preparation for shooting the iconic scene. We all know that he trained a lot for the role of Geralt, and of course a strict diet was required to maintain the physique, which would enable him to do his own stunts without injuries. But it turned out that to make sure he was in top form for shooting, Cavill started preparing himself several days before filming, by depriving himself of the most important thing, water. You're supposed to look a certain way aesthetically, especially if your shirt's off, Cavill told Norton, and he claims that this makes your skin really thin, so it sits on the muscle. Fortunately, he hasn't been completely without water for too many days straight. This is how the actor describes his regime. On the first day, you'll have like a liter and a half of water, the second day a half liter, and then the third no water, and you'll shoot on the fourth. In fact, this method is quite popular among bodybuilders, preparing for competitions, boxers, and MMA fighters. But please, please, please don't try to do this unsupervised, because the practice of purposefully dehydrating yourself can be really dangerous. Henry Cavill says that although the training and diet are difficult, dehydrating is the worst thing because on the last day, you get to the point where you can smell water nearby. Moreover, after the shooting is done, he feels like the most miserable person on earth. 
So I wonder if all this is worth those several minutes of shirtless shooting. What do you think of Henry Cavill's dedication in preparing for the role of Geralt the Witcher? Let us know in the comments below, and if you have any questions left about the iconic bathtub scene, don't hesitate to ask them too. And thank you for staying with Awesome Movies!